you have been given a single array uh, and in this single array you have to implement k different stacks so in the, my previous question the value of k was equal to 2 but now i have to implement for the k value can be 3 it can be 4 it so what we can do here is that if I have a size of n and the number of partition has to be k, right? Number of stack has to be k. So what you divide is that you divide the array into into n by k parts. So basically, you you can start one here, the another can be here n by k, uh, the another can be you know two n by k like this, and then another can be three n by k like, like this. So basically, what you do, you take the size of the array and you divide it by k. And then you know your first stack one will start from here. The second will start from here, and final kth will start from here, right? And in this case, you can move this in this direction, this in this direction, this in this direction, this in this direction. So the the core concept applies remains the same. It's only that you know programmatically how you write becomes a little complicated. Uh, in this, we can check two things. One is that your concept about the stack, and second, how you write things programmatically, right? How you consider the different kind of boundary condition, how you write the code, is there a clean code or not, right? So this program, when you solve, it not only tests your data structure skill, but also tests your programmatic skill, and how clean you can write the code, right? So please do write this code. I was that you had to understand by k, k, but now you insert it, जो kth element जैसे कि for example first का जो value है zero one two three third पे आ रहा है तो third का जो index है मतलब जब मैं n by kth करूँगा तो मुझे वो value मिलेगी मेरे को तो वहाँ तक ही मुझे pop operation चलाना पड़ेगा right push operation चलाना पड़ेगा right check करने के लिए कि इसकी index value third तक आ रही है कि नहीं आ रही और wise हर और हर एक चीज हर एक kth element के लिए मतलब apply होगी अगर मैं push करूँ Yes, that is true. That is true. So basically, push करने के लिए आपको दो information चाहिए होगा. आप कौन से stack में push करना चाहते हो पहला ये. और आपको जब पता है और हर एक हर एक stack का जो index है वो आपको store करके रखना पड़ेगा, right? So initially जब तुम्हारा एक था तो you have just kept one index, right? क्योंकि एक ही index है तो इधर उधर move कर रहा था. When it was two, then you had to keep a track of two i and j. i आपका इधर से इधर move कर रहा था और j आपका इधर से इधर move कर रहा now there is a k. Now you cannot store k different variables. So what you can do is that you can store all the indexes, you know, the moving indexes of each of the stack in an array of the size k. So uska jo zero wala hoga, wo dega index of the index of zeroth stack. Oneth position dega index of first stack, right? So basically, as soon as you are told that you know you have to push in the first stack. The value five, something like this. So, so you first of all go in this array and fill look up what is my current moving index of the element, you know, uh, of the stack one. So you got the index. Suppose the index is like this. Here, index aya. Then you check, you know, uh, what is is the next value of this is the starting point of the next stack. If that is the case, it means it is already full and I cannot do anything. And if it is not, then I can, you know, go and insert the data five here and insert the value of, you know, increase the value of this index. इस वाले में भी मेमोरी का चक्कर पड़ेगा तो उस वाले केस में अब इसको एक तो पहला वाला बिना मेमोरी का कंसर्न किए में आप सॉल्व करो ताकि वो थोड़ा आसान हो ठीक है तो सो द फर्स्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन शुड बी यू नो यू डोंट वरी अबाउट द मेमोरी थिंग बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज बिकम्स वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वंस यू हैव सॉल्व दैट तो उसके बाद मान लो सिचुएशन ये आ गई मानो कि मैं ये ड्रा करता हूं ये मान लो अरे है मान लो तीन पार्ट में इसको मान लो मुझे डिवाइड करना था ठीक है तो यानो ये स्टैक वन का ए एलिमेंट स्टैक वन का बी एलिमेंट स्टैक वन का सी एलिमेंट राइट और ये मान लो स्टैक टू का ए ऐसे बराबर और ये स्टैक थ्री का ए स्टैक थ्री का बी एंड स्टैक थ्री का सी अब मैं यहाँ पे हूँ स्टैक वन का सी में ठीक है और ये वाला साइज पूरा भर चुका है इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्टैक वन इस a element. So this stack is full, which is my stack one. But still, there is some space left in this array. So what we can do is that as soon as this situation happens, I can move this whole thing to the right. So this S two A का जो starting है, इसको मैं थोड़ा सा एक position right move कर दूँ इसको S two A. यार जो ढाके दे रही हूँ S two A. तो ये वाला space बच गया. 
so again i can push this into one s1 a c something like this so in this case dynamically space aapka ban jayega but this will have a little higher time complexity it will have little more complexity so once first try to you know implement this one in which you have a fixed size and once this is done then you try to do this also okay but this second implementation will be little complicated uh, and it will have a little higher time complexity because you have to keep on moving the elements make sense right yes sir 